Good evening everyone, this is Coach A checking in from Decap Coffee Republic. We are located at the second floor of Pioneer Street Market. Um, this is also called PSM and this is Decap Coffee Republic and we are coming in every Tuesday live, Tuesday, every Tuesday and every Thursday, one of the community nights of our coffee shop to help inspire people and help transform lives and this is Coach A, I'm a certified life coach and there are two things that I do as a certified life coach. Number one, I empower people to be mentally fit so you can live beautifully and stay alive and with that my advocacy is okay functional life for every Filipino for everyone okay that you can live functionally regardless of your mental conditions meaning regardless of what difficulty you might be going through at this moment in time whatever mental challenges whatever mental conditions you might be challenged of today right now I believe that every Filipino every person have the right and the opportunity to live beautifully and stay alive another thing that I do as a life coach is I do certification class here in Manila in behalf of um, the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Texas, Dallas, USA. So just in case you are interested to look into the professions of life coaching, you want to do um, to become a life coach, a certified life coach, we are the only institute that does one-on-one, -on -one, face -to -face, um, face-to-face or group certification that is with international certification okay and global accreditations normally if you take um an international certifications you do it online and if you do it face to face um you get a local certification so our institute offer both okay we do it uh, face to face and then you get an international certificate and global accreditation so just in case this profession could be a blessing to you could be a blessing to people and could be a tools for you to level up and to leverage and exactly what you're doing right now we invite you to look into the profession and be part of our growing family of certified life coach right now i'm joined with how many coaches in the house where are the coaches in the house so i have one two three four five six okay i have six coaches in the house so decap coffee republic is a house too okay 59 including myself is 60 certified life coaches so we invite you to come over um anytime even without appointment you can visit our coffee shop if you need professional service if you need professional help uh, not simply because you have a problem even if you don't have a problem but you want to level up in life you want to achieve your goals and you want to be better and you want to create an impact in this world please come over see us make an appointment with us and surely you will get a professional help and also okay if in any way okay you are in a season of your life that you are mentally challenged not necessarily that you are clear clinically diagnosed, not necessarily that you are seeing a psychiatrist or a psychologist, um, but you feel that at this season in your life, you need someone to help you, walk you through your, your mental state or your mental conditions, we invite you to come over. Now, uh, we do every Saturday, every 5 o'clock every Saturday, mental wellness. We do coaching for mental wellness every Saturday and that is free. We don't charge you, okay? So, please come over, uh, bring a member of your family or if you are a person um, either with difficulty even if you are a sufferer if you are a supporter or maybe an advocate of mental wellness I believe you will be a blessing to join us and you will also be blessed to hear and to see and to witness and to be part of what we are doing for this it's been uh, June July August this is the third month since the mental health law in the Philippines was signed okay and one of the things that we have been doing since it's signing actually we've been doing it many years uh, you know many months back but since the signing of the law we have been doing this consistently without fail and we will be doing this every Saturday so please Please come and join us okay now for tonight I'm gonna be talking about your unique superpower okay I'm talking about you and not the superheroes but of course when we talk about superpowers we have this mindset and we have this thinking that when you talk about superpower we talk about superheroes okay so basically we're gonna be talking about uh, the powers that your superheroes your favorite superheroes um, possess but tonight really I'm gonna land into okay what is your unique superpower because I believe 
that you have it, okay? So to begin with, let me just challenge my guests on floor, okay? Can you just ask the person next to you, ano ang unique superpower mo, okay? And, and, and if you're watching and joining me, let me just ask you, okay, what is that one unique superpower that you think you possess? Okay, because everyone has, okay. And if we're coming in live and um, this sounds, okay, you, you, you encounter some difficulty in the sounds, please message us immediately, okay. And if in case you have trouble going through the whole of the live, don't worry, we normally post the, the replay, okay, via YouTube around um, midnight or past midnight, so you will be able to catch this. But right now, if you're able to connect with us, okay, we would appreciate if you give us some sound emojis, okay. If you have... Hi, ER. I know you're watching with mom. Okay, hello, mommy. Thank you for joining us, for catching us tonight. Okay, and um, Kay, if you're there right now, hello, hello, good evening. Okay, and to all our master coaches in Texas, Coach Kendra, um, Andrea, and Cherise, hello, hello, um, hello from the Philippines. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about your unique superpower. And if you believe, okay, there are people out there, you have friends, you have relatives, there are people that needs to be inspired okay you need to be reminded that even at your mortal stage right now right now right here there is something unique with you would you agree with me okay yung katabi niyo ba may unique power ba what's the unique power okay can you tell me <laughs> oh, what's the unique power oh, oh the person next to you come on come on ask the person next to you what's your unique superpower superman oh superman he said superman Okay, come on. What's the unique superpower? Because many times when we talk about superpower, we talk about superheroes. Oh, anyone there? <laughs> women empowerment. <laughs> Nagkahiya and women empowerment. Okay. <laughs> Let's empower. Okay. Okay, there's more male in the house tonight. Okay. By the way, if you hear sound, okay, that is not a can sound, okay, that's real sound. There are really people on the floor. But for those of you joining me for the first time, bakit hindi nakikita yung mga tao, Coach A? Well, number one, that is their privacy. Number two, that is the gift. If you come on floor, that's your blessing that you will see and meet beautiful people in the house. So since you're not here, you're not able to see beautiful and handsome men, okay? So, but I, trust me, trust me, okay? The beginning and the end of the show, the beginning and the end of my talk is really more more sweeter okay much much sweeter than my talk because you've got to hear real people real life and that's what life coaching is about like we we'll learn from each other okay um, we empower each other and at the end of the talk we are being entrusted with beautiful stories of life. Tama ba? You, you experience that right now. The person next to you, you win a friend. Okay? So right now, you're winning a friend. So come on, what's the superpower of that person? Coach Sean and Coach Tin, we miss you on the floor. Our coaching couple is not here. Hello, okay? Work mode tayo ngayon. Magandang gabi sa inyo. O, oh, anong unique power ng mga superwoman dyan? Women empowerment. Yeah, meron kaming ganon. Okay? Wow, who do you have there? Sabihin natin, beauty. Compassion. Okay. Nakakahiya. So, ano no? Yung charm. Oh, see? Charm. Nahiya pa eh. Okay, nahiya charm. Bakit ba? Oh, you see? Oh, Kevin, meron ba tayo dyan? Power to sleep for the long... Gano'n yung power? May mga 24 hours ba to, Kevin? Seven. <laughs> talaga? <laughs> Tulog talaga? Okay, Jeff. Special power. Meron tayo dyan? Yeah, power na kapag upgrade yung eyes between uh, kapag dead end. Parang yan. O kapag wala nang pinag-uusapan. Kapag uh, nakapagbago yung usap. You can connect. The power to connect immediately with someone. Okay. Ability to communicate. Ability to communicate. Ability to express, okay? Ability to be able to really mirror. Mahirap yun, ah. To be honest, um, we, we are teach, I'm teaching communication. I'm teaching the art of listening, powerful questions. And most of the time, kaya hindi po nagkakaintindahan yung mga tao kasi hindi tayo makapag-communicate. Iba yung sinasabi, iba yung naririnig. Oh, really, the ability to communicate is difficult because the verbal, okay, the vocal is only 7%. 93% of our communication is non-verbal, non-vocal. So you just imagine the words that you hear from me is only, okay, 7%. 
Okay, what you are, what I am transmitting, what you are understanding from me tonight, 90, 93% of that is not my words. Okay, patience. Okay, sabi ni Coach Tim De Hoya, okay, ang kanyang unique superpower ay patience. Yung kahit sobrang yabang ng kausap mo at gusto mo lang barahin, ayan, buntong hininga na lang ang kapalit para di siya mapahiya. Talaga naman, power yon. Okay, tama. Patience. Okay, tolerance is a special power. Correct? Coach, you have any power there? Wow, the power to enlighten all people and end war. Oh, uh -huh. Miss Malu. Okay, listening power. Okay, not a lot of people are good at listening. Okay, uh, we're teaching. I'm teaching the art of listening and the power of active listening. Those are difficult subjects to teach. All right, because a lot of times you hear something, but your mind it uh, is out there, or somebody's telling you, and then your narratives in your head is already pulling off, diba? or pulling through, and disturbing the whole online and on front communications. You, you, you imagine that? Okay, kayo, may power ba tayo jan? Power of love. Power of love! Power of love. So, may mga pumapag-ibig na dito. Oh, kayo't ano, ha? Nawala na. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, divine. Aka, hi, divine. Thank you for joining us right now. Power to adapt to a new environment and situation. Tama naman. Tama naman. Okay, mahirap din yun, ha? There's a lot of people nagkakaroon ng depression and anxiety at nakapagbagong environment, pagbagong situations, bago ang conditions. O meron, Coach Lau? May power tayo dyan. Okay, let me run through um, let, let me run through you to with 25 uh, powers. Okay, before natin pag-usapan yung mga powers mo. 25, there's actually more. But let me just run through um couple of powers, okay? Powers na hinahangaan po natin sa television, sa movies, or powers that every one of us, many of us would like to have. And uh, powers that we think it can change the world. Many times, we want the power to within us to change the world, to change a situation, or sometimes to change ourselves. Can you connect? Can you connect? Okay, let's start. Okay. One of the, maybe the most okay, common, when we talk about superheroes, okay, we talk about super strength. Okay, super strength. Okay, um, I don't know if somebody else will be uh, you know, admiring a superhero for super weakness. I don't, I don't think so, right? When you talk about superheroes, when we talk about super, um, super power, you talk about super strength. Am I correct? So it's something that you know uh, you can do like, like Spider Man, Superman, or Hulk. That you, you know you can just carry heavy loads, you can transport things, and you can just really move with all your strength and with all your might, alright? So, some people have it, okay, sabi nila yung mga nag-gym daw, okay, some people who runs the marathon, some people who are very much engaged into physical activities have this super strength, but we're talking of a strength that, you know, can break and make things, alright? Another power is, I don't know if you like it, mukhang ito si ano, uh, one of our guests have this, or wants this. The power the, of flight. Take the sky like a bird. Picture it out. Okay? If you got the power to fly and take on the sky highway like a bird, how's that? How's that? He said he will be pambansang runner or errand boy. Diba? But think about it. I mean, if you just think of beauty, okay? How can you just drop it and marvel the beauty of the world if you can just fly, right? What about the power of super speed? Super, super speed. All right. In the speed of a second, you're there, you're not there. Now you see, and that's it. He was late. He was late. He was late. Think about it. Gusto mo yan. Okay. He was late. They must speed. All right. Because especially right now that we are very much challenged with our transportation. We are challenged with how things are moving simply because of traffic. Right? Or how we can move from one place to another when we get stuck because baha and then we're running out late. Okay, so super speed. Okay. What about the power of teleportation? Oh, bas maganda yun. Yes. Think about it. Okay. Huh? Oh, bas ganon. Diba wala na, wala na ako dito. Now you see, wala na, na teleport ko na. Diba? What about the power of time manipulation like time stopping 
What if you can stop time? What would happen? Think about it. Okay, as I go online earlier, I was asking my on-floor guests, um, think about the superpowers, the superheroes that you love, and the powers that you would like to have, and think about what would be the consequences for having it. Yeah, think about it. Because if superpower have no consequences or no responsibility attached to it, then most probably all of us could just simply have it. Okay? So think about it. What if you have the power to stop time? What would happen? Chaos. Okay, you say move, he said stop. Say move, you said stop. Think about it. What if you've got 100 people in the room and 50 of them have the power to manipulate time? <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. All right? So what about if you have the power to time travel? said, wow, that's wonderful. Really? <laughs> really? Kakatakot. What about? But it's beautiful, right? Can you travel time? Okay? Can you travel backwards? Can you travel forward? Can you? So what would happen if you know when are you dying? It defies the laws of physics. It, it defies the law of physics, but that's power, right? What about the power of intangibility? <laughs> yeah. Ha. Intangibility and the power of invincibility. Okay, none, one is untouchable, the other is unseen, right? What if you can just simply evaporate? <laughs> Think about it. I'm talking to you and you just all evaporate because all of you have the power of invincibility. Oh my goodness, what life would be? Or the power of intangibility that you cannot be touched. I cannot hold you. That's very sad. You cannot be hugged. I don't think I, I love that. Okay, what about the power of pheromone projection? Charisma. Super charisma. Yeah, that's a power. Super charisma. Okay, super charisma, super charm that, you know, you can just turn and sway everyone else to what you like. Well, maybe it's beautiful if what you like and what you love is great, but what if you are already in error and you can charm everybody to do, you know, erroneous things? What about the power of mind reading and the power of mind control? They're both the telepathy power, okay? And some people would say, I have the power of telepathy. So the power of telepathy is two, two sides of the coin. One is mind reading and the other is mind control. Let me just ask you, do you, do you really want to control other people's mind? And if you talk to someone, do you really want to read the mind? God, that's... I don't know about you, but I'd, I'd rather be excited to what you are about to tell me and learn from you directly than I'm consumed thinking about what you're thinking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Isn't it more interesting if you... Uh, but there are... It's more so that. <laughs> okay. Or, or another power that is similar to that, that is the power of, of, okay, precognition. What is precognition? That you can see things in the future. Okay, when you hold like the, the thinking of the crystal ball, you have a lot of medium, that's a lot of things that you can do, but the power is actually called precognition, meaning you can recognize what is yet to happen. You can recognize the person's life, you can pre-recognize what would be the, his future. What would, be, what would that be to you if you have that power? Okay, and how's this? Okay, the power of psychometry. It's a lesser known power, but this power is your ability to see history, okay, by simply touching any object. Yeah, yeah. You just hold the object and like, boom, the power says, okay, if you have the power of psychometry, when you hold something, you will practically go back and see the history and everything that transpired with that object. Would you like to do that? Like, I believe you, you can see who holds that, what happened, oh my goodness, even the death and all. I don't know if you want that. Traumatic. Okay, you don't like it. Okay, what about the power of empathy? Super empathy. Okay, do you know that empathy or super empathy is really the power? I'm not talking about the super, you know, I'm not talking about the typical empathy that you know, but I'm talking about, uh, remember the, the character of Star Trek, um, uh, Dian Troy? Okay, that she, you, you've got the power to really understand each and every emotions around you. 
So like if there's a hundred, a thousand people in the room, you know exactly their emotions. Would you like that power? Yeah. So how many people in the house right now? Like 10, 20, and you just know exactly how that person is feeling. Tired. Sabi niya, tiring. Ayoko na nun. Mahirap, no? But that's the power of super empathy. Alright? And do you know that really there are people like that? That they can be very, very consumed? That when they get to a particular place, like they are so consumed with all the emotions within them and they are so um, uh, hyper, they call it hypersensitive to what's going um, around them. And they miss the, the joy of the moment. I mean, if you can just absorb five troublesome first people and then you absorb a thousand, my goodness, what kind of life you would have? Okay. But what about, okay, we're talking about here empathy. But what about enhanced senses? What's a power of enhanced senses? People with enhanced senses, okay, are people who have hyperactivity of the eyes, the nose, the ears, everything in their senses is hyper enhanced. So they're hyper, <laughs> super duper sensitive. They can see through things that not, that's not normal. They can feel things that's not normal. They can hear things that's not normal. All right, so them is like all of their senses are super and hyper. That's their power. It's a problem if you can sense the danger and you don't have you don't have even the power of strength. You just sense it. Yeah, there are people, they're human like that. Okay, and here's the thing. Uh, one of our floor, on floor guests talk about the power of magic. Okay, now here's the thing. The power of magic. Okay, got two things. Okay, one is the human shape shifting and the animal shape shifting power. The human face shifting is the ability to transform a face of someone just to be anyone else. Yeah. So the human shape shifting is the power, okay, to make this person look like Diana Ross, look like Madonna, to look like this. Okay, yeah. So the other one, okay, is animal shape shifting. So a human being, you can transform to any animal. <laughs> now you know, meron, may ganong power. Okay. Dalawa siya, pili ka. Pili ka, human shape or animal shape shifting. Oh, huh? Parang pare nakakatakot pareho. Di ba parang ayoko ata yun. Tapos sa kausap pa niya, parang hindi ko gusto yung face mo. Palitan ko. <laughs> ano lang po, medyo imaginative lang ako ngayon. Okay. And... <laughs> What about, may pag-asa, di ba? Oo, daig pa natin si Belo, mawawalan po ng negosyo si Dr. Vicky Belo. What about the power of animal communication? It's like the telepathy that you can really speak to animals and or you can hear the words, you can understand their words, and you can understand what they're saying. What would you do that? What would happen if you have that power? All animals you can hear, including okay, every creatures, yeah, insect or insects. <laughs> not now, not today. Okay, I've got some flying to do. Okay, and there's also this power of they call it atrokinesis. Ano daw? Nosebleed. Hi, Toffy. If you're watching, sabi ni no, Toffy kanyang nag-nosebleed na siya sa akin. Toffy, this is another Google to search. At no kinesis is weather control. Huh. Yeah, weather control. I, I don't like the weather today. Let me ship it to something I love. <laughs> no more? Uh -oh, okay. I feel like sunny today. So, sunny today. Okay. I want to have this, you know, cloudy day and cloudy just in front of me, okay? I want to feel the cool blue of the sky, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, and what about, okay, ito, ito, okay. Jeyu, Jeyu Kinesist. Yeah, Jeyu Kinesist. Ayon, Earth. Geo is Earth, diba? One of the most powerful, but also the most dangerous elemental control power is the ability to control the Earth itself. 
rotation. Yes, control the earth. Iba din yung rotation. Hinto. Ganon. Nakayoko ng power nun. O, sige, hanap pa tayo ng mga power. I don't know about you. And what about the power of energy projections? So, <laughs> what's energy projection? You can control power. You can control the degree of power that you can release. You can control where to project the power, where the power would be. I'm thinking, so pag galit ka, wala kayong kuryente. Power eh. Naisip ko lang mo lang. <laughs> Naisip ko lang. Power interruption. Okay, parang ay. Ayoko ata. Gusto kong walang power ngayon. So, oops, wala kayong power. Okay? Okay. Tapos ililipat ko lang. O, monopoly ng meral ko. Ililipat ko lang ang power from this place of the earth to the other place. Okay. And let's talk about the power of telekinesis. Familiar? The ultimate physical expression of superpowers, they said, uh, this is the ability to move objects with your mind, but functionally, where you learn how to move molecules with your mind. Eh? The possibility would be near limitless if you have the power of telekinesis. Think about it. But there are really, power, there are really people who are practicing this, okay? They can really move things with the power of their mind. Would you like to have that power? Nakakapagod sa brain. Okay. But here's one power, okay? The last power that I want to share with you is power that I really don't like to have. Okay. Uh, the power of mini cry or the power of absorptions. What is that? This is the power that you are like a sponge. That every time you come in contact with a superhuman, Okay, you get that power. So you just imagine you get all the powers to whom do your oh, power BB cry oh, absorption power. Okay, all the powers that I have discussed with you, you can search it from Google. You can find it. And if you are like me and it, this sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to find it and enjoy the moment of really learning about the power. But here's the thing I also encourage that you learn also what would it do to you if you have that power. Okay, now, diving into tonight's topic. Okay, every one of us would like to have a power. Agree? Yes. All of us. Okay. But my question to you is, where would you like to use that power? Where would you like to use that power? Okay, pull back the curtain. Do you want the power? Hi, Janet. Good evening. Okay, my question. Do you want to have a power? For what? For what? <laughs> That's a problem with human being. We, there's a lot of things that we want. There's a lot of things that we envision to have. There's a lot of things that we desire. There's a lot of things that we wish, we hope. Okay, what if what we wish and what we hope for, we can really get it? So the question is, let's pull back the curtain. Why do you want the power? Yeah, why do you want the power? To whom will you use the power? For whom will you use the power? And for what? What would the power do to you? What would the power do to your life? What would the power uh, do to the people around you? How would you be able to change the world, the earth, whoever, with the power that you have on hand? Sabi nga nila, with every power comes with? Great responsibility. Great? Okay, so what is it, that superpower that you want? Because yes, for tonight, okay, Okay, um, let me just pull back again and say, disclaimer, okay, I will not disappoint you. Yes, as a life coach, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to leave you with something tonight to learn how to discover your, your superpower. Yes, I will do that, okay, but since I'm a life coach, I will also be responsible to make sure that when you discover that superpower tonight or later on as you process yourself, you will also be responsible to use that superpower. Because what's the use of encountering your power? Okay. Remember, it's not rediscovering or discovering your power. It's actually encountering the power. Because let me tell you, and I can challenge you, and I can tell you that you know your power. Yeah, you know your power. Every one of us here, in, kasali po kayo, eh? okay, you've got the power here, okay? But my desire tonight is you finally encounter that power. And when you encounter that power, what will you do with that power? Knowing that your power comes with great Okay, so let's discover that. Okay. <laughs> Sabi ni Kevin, gusto ko ba talaga to coach? Eh, nandito ka na eh, wala kang choice. <laughs> Alright, but it's really interesting that it's really great, okay, that we know 
what's unique to us okay so i'm not just talking about the superpower that i shared with you that yes many of these powers you can only see in movie in televisions and you know in make believe stories in comics and magazines but um out of the 25 um things that I mentioned to you, many of them is being practiced by human beings because many you know, uh, not so normal people would like to try this power, okay? And maybe some people would have been trying to fly, kaya nga tayo may aeroplano ngayon, alright? So there, there are a lot of mutations to this. So my question to you is, do you want to know your power? Do you want to discover your superpower? If you're watching tonight and you're spending time with me, most probably the answer is yes, okay? So my question is why? Para saan? Saan niyo po gagamitin yung mga superpowers niyo? Okay? Have you ever thought of that? What would be the purpose of that power? To make life easier. To make life easier for whom? For me. For me. <laughs> Kasi pagod na ako, coach. Para lang po sa akin to. Huwag na po tayo makialam. Okay? Tama ba yon? Okay? Pagod na pagod na kasi ako coach, gusto ko lang magpahinga. Hindi <laughs> e, matulog ka. Okay, di ba minsan sabi nga, I have a client, sabi niya, coach, pwede ako huminto ang mundo. Bakit hinto yung mundo? Because I'm so tired. Hindi e, matulog ka lang. I mean, you need rest. Hindi e, you rest. Why would everybody else rest as you want to rest? Okay, what's the answer? Why, why do you want to have that superpower? Do you have that, do you have that in mind? Kung ano yung superpower mo? Ha? Huh? Okay. Our deepest strengths are really hidden inside of our own mental box. Let me repeat that. Our inner strengths are all hidden in our mental box. Hidden, and it's us who's hiding it. Because, as you said, with the power comes responsibility. Many times, you know exactly what you're great at. You're good at empathy. You're good at what? Convictions. You're great at sympathy. You're great at, there's so much things that you know within you, you're good at it, you're great at it, you're excellent with it. But how many times you would rather choose to keep it? These are powerful treasures, but you don't release it because as you release it, comes the responsibility. There are people who are so great at fighting for other people's right. Agree, disagree? Yes. So what would happen if you fight for other people's right? May aaway din sa'yo. There are people who are so great. That's why I was talking about the power of super empathy. Okay, think about it. If you empathize with someone, what would you do? You would not be sitting down, doing nothing, right? If you've got the power of super empathy and you just feel that, that this person is going through tough times, what would you do? You might quit your job and just helping a lot of people around you, right? Think about it. If you have the power of super confidence, what would happen? <laughs> yeah, super confident. Sila. Yeah, what if you are so confident? No, no, I'm not talking about kayabangan. What if you, you're really confident and you know that when something is wrong, you are confident enough to stand and say, that's wrong? Huh? Not only might, you might be offending a lot of people, you might be crossing the line. Oh, so what happened? Very sharp. Okay. So think about it. Okay. So all our strengths, all the powers that you want is right here in our mental box. But what I wanted to do tonight is really enable you to embrace that superpowers. So bakit ganun? Parang hindi naman ata tumutok mga coach. Because that superpowers is needed by the world. Needed by you. You need it. You need it. Alright? But many of us, okay, many of us uh, were dampened by the fact that our superpowers, okay, that started to manifest when we were young. Ito yan. Sino dito yung dumaan sa pagkabata? Sino? Sino? Okay. Childhood, Coach Philip. Okay. 
all of us been through our childhood. Okay, let me walk you back. Remember when we were young. Okay, remember when you are young. Okay, what were the things that you are so good at? And your all, your classmates would always applaud. Ah, galing! Oh, what is that one thing? Meron kayong ganun eh. Sikat kayo doon sa mga kaibigan nyo. Kahit mga tatlo lang sila, sikat pa rin kayo. What is that thing? Magaling sa practical arts. Magaling sa arts. Ano? Saan na? Come on, come on. Saan? Sa basketball. Think about it. What is that one thing na sikat na sikat kayo sa mga klase nyo nung bata kayo? Think about it. Oh, can you remember? Ano? What is that one thing na kilalang kilala kayo? Yung parang pag sinabi yung pangalan mo, ito yung karugtong niya. Minsan nga yun ang tukso sa'yo eh. Diba? O minsan yun yung tawag sa'yo pag pumasok ka sa, opis, sa school. What is that one thing? Paborito na teacher! Teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. Ano pa? Okay. I'll tell you what. Many of these great powers or intelligence, super intelligence, no? kasi ang intelligence nung lumalaki tayo, at least I'm 46, no? Growing up, ang intelligence sa atin, yung ano lang talaga eh, yeah, math, science, ganun lang yung intelligence, not until recently na ang intelligence by music, you know, but growing up, alright, would you agree with me that apart from academics, our talents were not given really a priority? Would you agree with me? So if you're great, good at art, singing, martial arts, okay, would somebody really applaud you? Wow, galing! Okay. Okay. Go back to where you, when you were young. Go back. What you were good at. Saan ka magaling? Saan ka magaling? Uy, kahit yung sinasabi nilang, galing mo naman, ma'am bola, galing kaya yun. <laughs> Yan tayo eh. See? When we were, sales, you call it sales. When we were young, okay, ang tawag kasi mga bata, di ba? Wala naman nagturo sa ating skill, ano yan? Sales skill yan, ha? Oh, grabe, sales agad ang sagot, sabi tuloy niya. Sakit ha, derecho ha. Dito, here oh. Wow! Oh, tama. See, when we were young, there are people who are so good at, may mga kaklase tayo na lahat kayang ibenta, pati yung papel niya, di ba? Oo, oh, like, oh. nakakommunicate kayo? Oo, oh, di ba? Yung iba namimigay ng papel, pero may kaklase nagbibenta. Oh, I don't know, yung ta- gist lang, tawag na gist, di ba? Ten cents. Piso. Panahon na kasi ninyo yon Panahon namin eh. Forty-six. Napagahalata. Sa kanila daw po piso na. So si Rog malamang nagbenta kasi po sabi niya piso. Think about it. Can you connect with me? Yes. And I hope by this time you're getting what I'm saying. <coughs> that looking back when you were so young and you were so adventurous and you were not thinking about the terminologies, there are really things that you're so good at. Tama? Oh, some of you would be so good at projecting some mirror. Maganda na ba ako? Why not? Oh, sino? Oh, come on, come on. And then, some of you, some of us, okay, would always have a powder ready. Ah, just like you powder, I didn't retouch. Oh. And then, if you are gonna be, if you happen to be in a group of people who nurtures beauty, okay, they will appreciate that. Okay, they will say, wow, that's really great, da, 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 da. But if you are raising, uh, being raised in a community wherein tabu sa kanila ng arte naman ito, can you hear me? If you are nurtured in an environment where sports is really upholded, and then you're so good at sports, then you will get your scholarship, right? But if you are in a school that is purely academic, and apart from academics, you're nothing, what will happen to you? You will not be able to explore your passions. You will not be able to explore what you are great at, and you will not be able to let that superpowers out of your mental box. Would you agree with me? Okay, so what is that superpower that you had when you were young? Okay. Meron na ba? Moving forward. Okay. Fast forward from elementary. Okay. Some of that you start nurturing when you're high school, college. Okay. Fast forward. 
when you landed on your first job, you're landing on your job. You are in your job today. And if you're jobless today, I hope you had the job before so you can connect with me, okay? So, when you landed your job, think about what were the qualities, what are the qualities that being given a merit value, those that commands the kind of job that you hold. Anything outside the job that you do, there's no value into it, right? If you are like Coach Phil, if you're an English teacher, there's no value if you are great at singing. Would you agree? Yeah. You're a teacher, so I don't care if you're singing or not. But if you're in the school of music, you must be able to sing. And it doesn't matter if you're good at math or not, right? Same token. You move to college, you move to, you learn a job, and if the kind of job that you're doing is not in alignment with your superpower, think about it, what happens to your superpower? What happened? Suppressed. It is? Come on, come on, you can think about it. Suppressed. Yeah. Because there is no point of showing it if it will not add merit to what you do, correct? Yes. Also, what happens now to your superpower? What happened to your superpower now? None. If you're great at art, okay, and you're not in an advertising company, what would you do with that art? If you're so good at advertising, you know, and sales and all, but you're an engineer, what do you do with that? Nothing. All right? So, and let's move to the next level, okay? Another thing that really suppress your superpower. Many people believe that superpowers can be a curse. A curse, it's not a blessing. It's like if you are super empathetic, if you are super, sabi nila, pag super daw na madali kang maniwala, tanga ka daw, kasi lagi kang naniniwala, nabobola ka daw. Narinig nila ba yun? Tanga-tanga kasi nito eh, lagi na lang <laughs> nagbibigay. Maawain, di ba? In, in Tagalog, you call it that way. Um, if you are sympathetic, if you are always feeling something for that person, and then most of the time, naluloko ka. Because you give more than that, right, Coach Philip? If you're so good, then people take abuse of you, then it'll be abusive, they take advantage of you. Can you connect? Yes. Okay, so now tell me, from childhood to work and to the normal people community, where in the world will you now cultivate your superpower? Think about it. Ano mangyayari? How can you cultivate now your power? So now, let me pull back again my question. What is your superpower now? What is your superpower now? Is there anything that you are so good now, you are so great now, that you believe it's been there since childhood, but you were not able to really practice it and really nurture it because it wasn't conducive at all? <coughs> Meron na ba? Wala pa rin? Okay. Let me give you three things that you can do. Okay. Three things that you can do. First, okay. Let me challenge you to go back. Really, go back. As far as your memory can remember. Take around five things that really make you shine. Okay. When I say make you shine, make you shine within the people who knows you, who loves you, who understands you. Like, sometimes your teacher will not appreciate that you're good at music, but your parents would. I mean, what are the five qualities, the five things that you believe the people who value you really applaud it? Meron ba? Do you have that five things? Tingin nyo ba? Yeah. What are five things that were so interesting about you growing up. I want you to go back as in far back when you can remember. Okay? So I have one friend he remembers what? I have a friend uh, who discovered that way back when he was very young as he could remember that he's already a storyteller. You know, that people will go to his place just simply to hear stories from him. 
And some of those stories, he would read some of those stories, gawa-gawa lang daw niya. Pero naniniwala daw sila. Totoo yung kanya. Have a friend. O, gawa-gawa lang daw niya, hindi naman daw totoo, pero naniniwala daw yung mga kaklase niya. Naniniwala daw yung mga kasama niya. And at a certain point, itam, hinihintay daw siya sa tabing ilog. Yan, para magkwento lang. Hello friend, if you're watching. Alright? I have a friend who said that his power is to make people laugh. Okay? Na he would remember, pag may sakit daw yung lola ng mga kaklase niya, binibit-bit daw siya sa bahay, inuuwi siya. Pinagpapaalam siya sa nanay niya para daw patawanin yung mga may sakit. There are people who's great at lifting up the emotions. So, meron ba kayo nun? Bakit parang wala kayo nun? Wala. Hello? Hello? Kakatakot naman itong mga guests ko. Kayo na lang po. Kung meron po kayo dyan, sumagot po kayo. Sana po meron. <laughs> Nakakatakot po. Oo, oh, oh, buhay naman po sila. Hinahanap po lang po kung meron po silang... Oh, at umahibig ka rin ang mga online guests natin. <laughs> Hello? Inisip niyo po ba talaga? Meron po yan. Okay? Maybe because... Now, if you're finding it hard to remember, maybe because growing up, you didn't believe that this power will give you money, will give you value, and will make you stand above the rest. Hi, Brent. Konyo? Kasi minsan yung mga power mo, parang feeling mo ikaw lang naman ang magaling. Okay. One power. Okay. One, one, one gift. Okay. Sino dito yung, tira, alam nyo yung tirador? <laughs> ano yung tirador? <laughs> Ano, ano? Sige, ano yung sa terador? Slingshot. Sling? O, oh, slingshot. O, oh, dung bata ka pa, pag magaling kang mag-terador, the sling. Okay, magaling kang mag-terador, may sumasabi, ang galing-galing mo, meron ba? Wala. <laughs> Tato nyo, tumatawa kayo. O, oh, eh, bakit si David? He defeated the Goliath with only a sling and a stones. Kita nyo na. Wala, kasi pinapagalitan pa nga. Pinapagalitan pa nga. O, oh, Yung mga taong magaling magtrumpo, alam niyo po ba yung trumpo? Ano yung trumpo? Ha? Taps! Oh! Magnetic taps talaga tayo, makabago. Okay? I am sharing this with you because I want you to understand that there are powers, great powers, okay, that is in your mental box growing up that were not nurtured and you did not receive the affirmations that you need. So today, I don't know what age you are, I don't know what conditions you are, I want to challenge you, get out of that box. Okay? Five things that you would remember that you were so good at. Are you good at acting? Are you good at dancing? Are you good at, you know, making people sing? Oh, hear what I said. Are you good at making people sing? Because it's a power of influence. Yeah. Some people don't sing, but they can make peop other people sing. Yeah. There are great, there are people that they're not good at it, but when they talk to you, they can make you do what they're not good at. And they can see you do what they don't capable of doing. That's a power. I've seen people like that. Yeah. They will just, you know, pop you, dance, dance, and you ask them, come on, dance with me. I'm not going to ugali nito. Pinasayaw ako, hindi pa pala siya marunong sumayaw. That's a power. It influence, right? Okay. So, I encourage you, take a look at that five things. Okay? Take an inventory of that. Remember that. Okay? And don't beat yourself. Just get that out of the box. Next. Okay. When you get that power, picture yourself being a hero with that power. Anong itsura? Ay? Superwoman pa rin ba? Pogi ba? Yun lang. Power lang naman. Power lang naman kasi pinag-usapan kanina, coach. Okay? No, trust me, may pupuntahan to. Okay? Oo. May, mayroon pong nagaganap. May mga lumalabas pong superpowers. So sana nandito po kayo. Hindi lang po na kontrol ang mga power. Sabi ko po, lalabas. Okay, now you know we're online. Now you know we're live and anything can happen because this is a live show. Okay, and with all the powers is going out. Okay, so bibilisan na po natin to para magpaalam na tayo dahil lumalabas ang mga powers nila. Okay, so think about the five. And now, picture yourself having that power. Anong itsura mo? Create that hero now with that power. So you've got the superpower. Okay, the power. Okay, 
take it from that five, okay, now create the superhero. Anong itsuna ng hero? May pakpak ba to? May kapa ba to? Lumilipad ba to? Aso ba to? <laughs> Tao pala siya. Alright? So, think about that five, okay? Okay, if that five connects, great for you. But if that five does not connect, at least three of there would connect. If you're a normal being, okay? So, if you're normal, <laughs> about 98% you will get around three of that that connects. So now create the superhero. Ano yung itsura ng superhero? Maganda ba siya? Pangit ba siya? Magagalitin ba siya? Mahaba ba ang buhok niya? Picture, create that superhero now. Okay. At la, controversial daw. Ito na. All superhero goes with what? Sidekick. Sidekick? Ano pa? Come on. If you have a superhero, ano meron? Villain. Okay, so you've got the superpower. Create the hero. Malamang ikaw yung hero, right? Now create the villain. Villain, kalaban, kontrabida. Sorry. Oh, villain. Okay, V-I-L-L-E-A-N. Villain po. Ang tawag po doon, kontrabida sa Tagalog. Villain. Nawawala yung power ko. Lumalabas. Uh -huh. Coach, baka lumabas ang kakaiba kong power. Okay. So you've got the power. You've got the superhero. Now, in that superhero, who's the villain? Si Boss. <laughs> Kaya po hindi nakikita ang mukha ng aming mga guests. Ang sagot po na isang guest ko dito, si Boss. Bihira, boss. Parang kilala ko at ang boss niya. Ikaw daw ang villain. Natago <laughs> yung boss mo, ha? Alright? All the all superheroes are made for a villain. Lahat po yan. Yeah. Now. Now. Kaya po dumadami ang mga masasama dahil po yung kabutihan sa loob ninyo tinatago ninyo. Let me state that in English for Coach Philip. The reason why we see all the ugly being around us is because that beautiful being inside of you is stuck in there, in chain, and you're allowing just the bad people, the villain, to overcome the greatness inside of you. You have heard this said, right? For evil to triumph is for good people to do nothing. nothing. And that's good people is you. You're not doing anything because all of your greatness, all of your powers is just here in your head. And so you allow the villain to be very strong against you and you are affecting your life. And now you are quiet. And to my third point and my last point. So when you get... Ayo, wala pa, hindi pa last yun. Ito pa lang yung last. Okay? So you get that superpower, you create the superhero, you undercover, you undress the villain. Okay? So pinakita natin yung villain. And the third step, what's the third step? You fight. You fight. I encourage you. I challenge you. Give a name to your superpower and express it to the world. Give a name to that superpower and express it to the world. Because no one else will know your power if you don't express it. Agree? Yes. Agree? Take a look at it. When you start getting in touch with your superpower, when you start creating a figure for it, when you start knowing and understanding the feeling, okay, that can be captured. <laughs> Sabi ko po sa inyo talaga. Malapit na po akong matapos, okay, with all the powers in my... Very powerful. <laughs> this is a beautiful night. Thank you for joining me. Okay? So, <laughs> now you know we're live. Okay? One of the greatest mistakes that we always do is we keep the superpower a secret. We are coward to let the world know that we've got a superpower. And I want to challenge you, right? That be brave. 
let the power grow inside of you. Let the superhero in you get out of that box so you finally defeat the villain. Would it be easy? No, it's not. Would it be simple? No, it's not. But who doesn't want to make a difference in this world? This morning I had this um, thoughts and I've written it that in every victory, behind every victory, is a, is, a, is a marred face and a scarred body. All victories in life calls for battles. And when you fight, you will have your face marred, your face disfigured, and you will have your body bruised and scarred. But ultimately, what is important is that you fought. You fight for your life. You fight for what you are called to fight. You are called to fight and win in life. You were brought to being, not to be defeated, not to be used as a puppet, and not to be the villain at all. You were called to be heroes, and inside of you are all superpowers that lock into your mental box because of your past experiences, because of your past defeats, okay? because of the people who once rejected you, who once failed to affirm you, who once failed to see the power inside of you. I don't know you personally. I don't know your stories. I don't know your struggles. I don't know your challenges. But one thing I know, you were created for greatness. I believe that. There is no single being created for defeat. You and I were created for victory. You and I were created for greatness. You and I were created to be the powerful superhero this world must see. And I, char I charge all of you to take that sword, all right? Get out of the box, use your superpower, start fighting, and start being the superhero, starting with yourself. If you cannot believe that you are a superhero, no one else will believe. If you cannot fight for yourself, you cannot fight for anyone else. If you cannot be brave and say, I deserve the superpower, then no one else will believe that you have the superpower. Greatness is born immediately the moment you start breathing. It's there. You're great. Walang taong pinanganak na talunan, hindi po ako naniniwala doon. And no matter where you are today, whether you're jobless, you're broken, all right? you are separated, whatever, okay? You just lost a loved one. You just lost a million, a billions. I don't know, I don't care what you're going through. But I believe that inside of you is a great superpower calling for a great superhero to say, here I am, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to win in life because I am made to win. You are not alone in this journey. If you need help, if you need support, if you need guidance, if you need any person, anyone else to walk you through in this season of your life, coaches is here. I'm coaching you back to your life. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight.